morphology and mind we have studied a little bit about psycholinguistics right how language works in the mind and we have talked a little about neurolinguistic or neurosciences let's study a little further in this respect because it's very important to the uh, linguist to understand how language works in the brain or in the mind so how morphological knowledge uh, is represented in the human mind and how it is used in language processing as i said it's very important it's an important topic right the mental representation of morphological knowledge is a battleground for different theories about the nature of linguistic rules a related topic to language and mind or uh, this aspect is the balance between storage and computation how we recognize how we produce or how we store in uh, knowledge in our mind this where does it go and how we compute calculate different things how we bring different uh, pieces of words and make a complex words right knowledge is a in a particular domain of human cognition always comprises both storage of information and the ability to compute new information right so when we get some knowledge and it goes to our schematas and there we calculate there we decide that where it is to go and what new information we have ha we have had for instance when we want to use the word books we have two ways to do either we retrieve this plural form of the book from our lexicon memory or we create in it online by adding the plural suffix s to the stem book what determines the choice between these two uh, roots so either we have a ready made word plural word or or we have something that invent or coins word at the uh, uh, as we need them somewhere in our mind empirical research of such question may thus help us to get a better understanding of the nature of human cognitive capacities to so understand this that how do we recognize and produce how do we store words how do we compute words in our mind uh, in this regard we'll have to uh, look at empirical research that has been done by so far by different researcher linguists socio uh, psycholinguists morphology may be there may therefore be qualified as a window on the human mind it can help us to understand the working of the mind the empirical domains of psycholinguistic research will be reviewed the mental lexicon the acquisition of morphological knowledge and the rule of this knowledge in language perception and production so the this understanding of morphological aspect in our mind can help us understand how language is produced and recognized in the previous chapters on morphology morphological change we saw that language change also provides information about the mental representation of morphological knowledge how we uh, we make causative sentences we make passive sentences anti passive and other structures that we have discussed there are a number of ways in which we can find out how morphological knowledge is represented in the mind and used in language processing by studying naturalistic data corpora of language use speech error effects of language impairment etc and experimental data lexicon decision task production task etc so these are different tools for testing the uh, ability or the use of uh, the brain of this lexicon that is somewhere in our mind morphology is a battlefield for competing models of linguistic knowledge and for discussing on the nature of linguistic rules the frequency of words in actual language use correlates with their activation level in the mental lexicon so when we use words they uh, this the, the mental lexicon lexicon is uh, gets activated somewhere in the uh in the mind so 
we'll study some aspects of uh, language uh, production and uh, its computation, its recognition, and its storage uh, uh, in the next uh, clips.